Hi. Today on Neighborhood Chefs, we're here with Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Hi, how are you today? Fine, thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Chef Kyle Bonner from New York City, native New Yorker, 35 years old, been cooking since I came out the womb. You know, learn from the best people on earth, mother and family, women in the family. Oh, nice. um, it's something that God has given me the talent to do, and, you know, I just try to make the best of it. And are you sharing with us? Huh? Awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what are you making today? Uh, today I'm going to do something called spring and coal, which is I'm going to do a nice pan seared flounder, Cajun style, and I got a nice mixed greens for you, nice mixed green salad. So even though the winter time is here, mm -hmm. still eat light, still eat healthy, uh, less on the cost and, you know, not bulge in the waist. <laughs> I can appreciate that. Yeah, I knew you would. I knew you would. So <laughs> this dish is perfect for you and the ladies out there. <laughs> Thank you. All right? All right, let's get started. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to heat up our pan. With a little bit of olive oil. And uh, you kind of want to get it on a, you want to sear it so you, okay, you want to sear it so what you want to do is get your pan hot right before the point of smoking hot where you set off the fire alarms. Um, <laughs> just, you know, as it gets hot, I mean, let the pan get hot. While that's getting hot, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to season your fish. Mm -hmm. Now what I did was I made a little rub, um, little cumin powder, little Old Bay, garlic, household items, mm -hmm. nothing really, you know, exotic here, a little bit of red pepper, you know, to your to your liking. Some like it spicy, you know, some bland, mild. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a nice generous amount of seasoning on here mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, coat both sides. The key to a good pan seared fish is make sure that your fish is dry. Because if you put a wet piece of fish in hot oil, the mud will explode on it. Yeah. So that's something that you don't want. So we're just going to flip this over. I'm going to do the other side. And by now, by the time you have done all of this, your, you know, your pan should be hot. Mm -hmm. This is a very quick meal for people that work, come home, you know, want to eat healthy. And I don't have a real good idea. First date, you know, if you want to impress. If you're not a very good cook. So this is very all general meal. It's not a lot of, it's not rocket science. All you're going to do is just season your fish while this is seasoning. Now I'm just going to drizzle a little bit. Say about maybe half a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon. You just want to basically just coat your pan. Give your pan a nice coat in it. And that's about it. It's good like he has a non-stick pan, which is very well. Let me go over here and wash my hands real quick. And you smell it. You'll be able to smell. Your, your nose is kind of your tiny. Mm -hmm. So while this is hot, basically what you want to do is you want to bring your fish to the pan. Mm -hmm. Always lay away from it. So that way you don't pop yourself. And when you hear that, that's what you kind of want to do. You don't want the fire too high because mm -hmm. you don't want your fish to burn. Yeah. Four to three minutes, hot each side, mm -hmm. let it get a nice brown. As you can see, when you start to cook it around the edges here, yeah, yeah it'll start to get a gray, opaque type of color. Mm -hmm. And then as the more it cooks, you see the color kind of come over it. And you give it one good flip. In the meantime, while that's working, I just want to do is want to get a plate. Uh, got this beautiful looking plate right here. The presentation is always key with me. Because if it looks appealing to the eye, it tastes great on this, in the stomach. So. Yeah, so what we're going to do is I took a nice tomato, made a little rose petal. Now what I have here is just some mescaline, greens, some romaine, just whatever kind of lettuce, arugula, any type of mixed greens that you like. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is here is I'm going to take a little bit and I'm going to plate it real nice. Presentation also have some uh, julienne, red pepper, green pepper, and a banana pepper in the pepper family. A julienne, a fine julienne on a red onion. Let me get over here real quick. 
I have here is some julienne onion, red onions, mm -hmm. uh, some, you know, peppers. Real healthy, real, real healthy. It's good for the stomach. You know, you just can't eat starch all the time. It's colorful too. Very, very colorful. Springtime. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if you're big on onions. I like onions. You like onions? All right, so we're going to load you up. It's not too much because I have to talk to you. I was going <laughs> <laughs> to say. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's very good. Colorful, good presentation here. Also, we're going to jump across across the ocean to the Mediterranean. We're going to put a little bit of feta cheese on it. Mm. Now, this feta cheese has basil and roasted red peppers in it. Mm. So, this is very good. So, what you do is just give that a sprinkle. Mm -hmm. Can you smell your fish? I think so. You do? All right. So, you know this is about ready. So, what I'm going to do is just sprinkle a little feta cheese on here. Mm -hmm. Right? And then in the Mediterranean, like San Tropez area, Greece, those type of... What they like is a balsamic. They're more in the vinaigrettes than like heavy dressings mm -hmm. like ranch or Thousand Island, French, those sort of things. Mm -hmm. So basically what you want to do while we have your salad prepped, you're going to come over here and just give your pan a quick flip. Mm -hmm. So nothing too extravagant, nothing too... Over, you know, I don't have to stand over a hot stove for hours and at a time sweating. Yeah, you know, for the mom that works a lot, she can do what she comes home and sit this over here. So we do that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drizzle just a little bit of this vinaigrette mm, across the vinaigrette. top of your salad. Mm -hmm. Now, you can make your own basic vinaigrettes. It's very easy to make. What I did was I took some balsamic vinegar, mm -hmm. a little bit of olive oil, some honey, brown sugar, and a little bit of garlic, mm -hmm. fresh garlic, mince it, because you want the juices from out the garlic, because that's where all the flavor is. Yeah. And then, so, as much as you like, I don't know if you're heavy, and you, no. just, and you just drizzle, you know? You don't want your salad soaking wet. You yeah. still want a little bit of crunch to it as you eat, mm -hmm. and there. Let's turn up the fire a little bit on this here. This is this just a little bit. I'm going to pour a little bit of this oil on there. All this fat. Even though it's olive oil and it's good. Just a quick drain. That's all. Nothing to pour some of that. That's really good. Another five minutes tops. You'll be done. Basically, while this is cooking, because it's, it's simple and it's quick, the fish is just basically about done. All I wanted to do is that get a nice little brown on each yeah. side, because so that's sort of like a Cajun. Mm -hmm. And at this point in time, what you should be doing is just, you know, I guess get your fork. Yeah. Grab your fork here. Mm -hmm. If you have guests, Good. Right now, you'd be hosting, you'd be talking. Mm -hmm. This is my type of fish with a salad you can also put in the oven. Very good, very easy, very quick. Yeah, it's not Yeah, it's not. It took approximately 15 minutes. Your real time is what is going to be your prep. Mm -hmm. That's where most of your time is chopping and with yeah. slicing your tomatoes and onions. The actual cooking process is yeah, very, very good. Yeah, ultimately very short. Sounds like my family. Yeah. <laughs> And it's inexpensive too. It's not a very, very expensive meal. Now what I want to do is I want to get this plate. I want to take our first roll. Take the towel here. Take this off. And what I want to do is I'm going to show you away. Lay it on a piece of paper towel. Three to four seconds. Let some of that excess oil drain off. As you can see, you don't have the coating, you still have the flakiness and the tenderness of the fish. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about all that, uh, you know. That looks so good. So, it's best as I eat anything, chicken, steak, fish, you always want to give it a minute to rest. Mm -hmm. uh, one, you don't want to put it directly on your greens right after the pan, because then it'll start to wilt, right. and you want it to keep it, its Crunchy. shape. Mm -hmm. Exactly, so while that rests, Three, four minutes to care if you're planning on doing something else after you're done. Cover with a quick sheet of aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. Set it to the side. And when you're ready, so what we're going to do is I'm going to get 
I'll take the same spatula right here. And I'm just going to gently, because a flounder is a, a gentle piece of fish. It's real flaky, it's real delicate piece of fish. Tilapia is too, right? Tilapia, flounder, halibut, all of that is along the same lines of fish, very tender, very delicately. And you're just going to lay this here, like that. And uh, since you like fish and salad, what you do is you want to lay this one across here, like that. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. Spring into the cold. Hope you enjoy it. Just a little olive oil that keeps this moisture and, you know, some of this texture is going to break down, but that's the purpose of wanting a nice flaky yeah. fish. It still has its consistency to it, too. It was really good. And the seasoning, oh, man. Thank it's you smelled, so much. It tastes just as good as it smells. Well, thank Even you better. so much. <laughs> no problem. I'm going to try this out now. I'm going to get every little piece that you put in here. The vinaigrette is delicious. Yeah. And it's a simple. I didn't, nothing is store bought. I mean, unless you, balsamic vinaigrette is basically the only thing that you would have to buy. It's nothing mm -hmm. that's, you know, and ex it's not expensive, but it's not hard to find. Mm -hmm. Balsamic vinaigrette, a little bit of olive oil, uh, like I said, some brown sugar, honey. a little honey, and um, a little bit of garlic, and you just mix it real good. Yeah, it's really good. And like how I did, I put them in, in these um mason jars. And they stay fresher longer and you keep them in the fridge. And, stay in yeah, and you just give it a good shake before you use it. And a spoonful on your salad. And there you have it. was it. perfect. Thank it was you. delicious. Thank you so much. It was great. Thank I'm you glad so you much. enjoyed. Thank you for having me. <laughs>